Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Soccer Duel by Firestorm Labs. This is a two or 2v2 two two player game in which players are going to be getting a certain number of these tiles here to draw from and trying to create soccer balls, which are indeed going to be goals. And your objective is to create as many as possible. You'll draw cards and play them, and when you cannot use cards in your hand, you can discard them into your specific discard pile. And at the end of the game, any discard cards left over will switch between the players and those players can use those cards to make more goals and then of course the most balls created or the most goals is the winner of the game there's also a super secret double overtime feature as well as an overtime feature if needed but the game is pretty simple pretty straightforward drawing timed tile placement management game with a bit of dexterity involved as well i'll tell you the setup and then of course how to play and finally my review to begin the game Soccer Duel, simply take out all of the tiles from the Soccer Duel box. Then go ahead and take the Soccer Duel box itself and give one bottom and one top to each of the players. These will be their discard areas. You'll then take the tiles that are in the box and place them out just like this. You can make them one big stack or many different smaller stacks. Every player is then going to get six of these tiles here. Three, four, five, six, and four, five, six. Uh, from there, you are then going to place a starting tile, each player. They'll go ahead and look at their hands, choose one of the balls, and place it down onto the board. And the same will be said for the other player as well. They'll take one of their tiles. I strongly recommend taking at least a tile with the two balls as opposed to one, and place it down onto their side of the field. This is going to be your area of the field, and this is going to be your opponent. And in a two-by-two two game, I guess you could have a different area separate, uh, or you play together, I suppose, as well. Uh, and how the game works is pretty simple. It'll be a ready, set, go, and players are going to basically start playing the game. Uh, the setup for the last part of the game, which I'll talk about in, in the how to play as well, of course, is just to simply have any of these discarded tiles switch places and then have each player use their opponent's discard pile to make balls. But that's pretty much the idea of the setup. You place all these out, draw six, choose one and place it out, and you're ready to go. Playing the game Soccer Duel is just as simple as setting it up. You'll have your five tiles in hand. You'll never have any more of them in hand. And on your turn, you will start, or I should say at, at the start of the game, because there's no turns. You just simply play as much as you want. Uh, you'll be placing down balls, and you'll try and connect them. So each of these tiles is going to have a quarter of a ball in it, or two quarters of a ball. Whenever you play a tile or tiles, you can simply draw another tile from the stack and then you can go ahead and place it down. Uh, there are certain rules as to how you place the tiles down. They have to go horizontally or vertically adjacent to each other. You can't simply set them side to side. Uh, you, you can't have it go only half of a tile or, or siding the tile. And all the balls have to be made as balls. So just like the game uh, Throw Octopus, you're basically having to connect them as you would a portrait. No cheats, no, no cuts. <laughs> and as, like I said, as you play them, you draw new tiles and you place them out. Now sometimes you're going to be left with tiles in your hand that you literally cannot utilize. If you can't utilize them, you're going to, have to discard one and you can draw another one into your hand. And then you can just simply continue play. Uh, and as long as you can continue play, you're basically just trying to make as many soccer balls as possible. And you're going to be trying to make the announcement goal. Just like this, bam, I've created a full blue soccer ball. I would say goal, that just in indicates to my opponent that I have scored a point. And while I am doing this and drawing tiles and playing them down or discarding them and drawing new ones, my opponent is doing the same thing. They are looking through their hand to try and create, um, bam soccer balls, drawing new tiles as well, placing them out, finding the colors that they need and utilizing them and making sure to follow the rules of placement as much as they possibly can. And after they also create a ball, which I don't know if I can actually do here. Ah, I can, haha, -ha. goal. Uh, then uh, you're going to continue. It's, it's pretty much that simple. Basically what's going to happen is eventually this deck of tiles is going to run out. And when this tile, tile deck runs out, you're gonna be left over with some of these tiles in the discard pile from each of these sides. You'll take these boxes, like I said previously in the setup, and then each player is gonna get these new stacks of uh, tiles and they're going to place them out next to themselves. No, the other players cannot utilize them. It's only the players who previously 
were the ones to discard them, giving it to the other player and having them use them. And they're going to do the same thing. They'll be drawing these tiles out, they'll be placing them down to create more soccer balls. And this is kind of like their own personal supply. So the more you use, the more you discard, the more likely your opponent's going to have some benefit in like the, the last overtime round, I suppose. Uh, but nevertheless, that's pretty much the idea of the game. At the end of the game, when both of these decks have run out, whether you're discarding them or placing them down to make more balls, you'll score up all the different goals you have, and whoever has the most is the winner of the duel. Now, as you can see, this is my one sports shirt. It's, it, I know it's technically basketball, but it, it's going to count close enough for soccer duel, I suppose. This is what I add, all right? Uh, this is, uh, it says one to two players on here, and then I believe it also says somewhere that it's two, 1v1 and 2v2. Uh, in the rules itself, it's just explaining the 1v1 variant. I imagine playing 2v2 wouldn't be too confusing, but I have no idea how to play the single player version of the game. Um, and if there is one, it's likely going to be on the website, because I didn't see it written in the rules here, which they do have a handy dandy instructions little uh, QR code that you can go ahead and take a look at. This game is very, very reminiscent of Throw Octopus, uh, basically a game in which you're trying to create little bubbles uh, with the exact same sim or very similar tiles to these ones here, uh, and you'll be drawing cards and, and, and trying to throw an octopus at people and making them draw more tiles, I should say. Uh, and this game here is very much the same, except instead of tiles in turn-based fashion, you are just playing them as quickly as humanly possible, discarding them, drawing new ones, and creating the best layout you possibly can to create the most goals that you can possibly create before overtime. And then once that hits, you're going to be able to be more selective and careful with your placement, or you can try and get the most goals as humanly possible, and it comes, comes, kind of turns more of like a, a strategy type of a game. Um, now, of course, there's strategy built into the dexterity, but there's a lot of tension and suspense while you're playing down these tiles here. This is a pretty straightforward tile placement game. It's got a nice added dexterity element to it, and I do really enjoy the fact that if you do not use the tiles that you are given and you discard them, those are going to cost you. There's also a nice little addition in the game, too. Uh, some of these tiles are going to have a red and a yellow card. If you draw a red card, you have to sit out for 30 seconds. And if you draw a yellow card, you have to sit out for 15 seconds. These are basically in soccer what they'd call penalties. And so there's penalties in this game as well. Now, if you don't want to play this variant, you can take the yellow cards and the red cards out. I think some people enjoyed it and some people did not because not playing a game while somebody else is playing is not exactly the most exciting thing. Uh, but it does give way to the opponent uh, or somebody's the mates behind to catch up. And in fact, another way of doing it too is the player who has the least amount of goals, if they draw a card, they, the tie, one of the yellow cards or red cards, they don't have to follow it. Or if the winner draws it, they do have to follow it. So you can kind of make it balanced if you would like, or make it random. It's really up to you, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of cool little variations you can add to this game. I, I really enjoyed this game. This was a lot of fun. I mean, it's very, very straightforward. The gameplay is very similar exactly as you would expect it to play every single time. Drawing tiles, placing out balls, trying to create as many as you can, yelling out goal, screaming out when you have a yellow or red card, discarding the tiles, and then switching when they're all gone and utilizing what you have to create the best possible layout you can. This is a game that's going to work for teens, it's going to work for young kids, it's going to work for families, and of course adults as well. Now I think with adults playing this game it's going to be something that doesn't last as long. This is not a game that I imagine a lot of my adult modern gamer friends to be pulling out constantly, but I can see them playing with their kids and their friends and their family and this is a great stocking stuffer game. This is one of those games that I'm going to pull out on the occasion to play with my youngins that come by and want to play games with me. It's something that's very simple and very straightforward and you can play as slowly as you want with the younger crowd or as quickly as you want. There's not a huge amount of, um, I, I would say, like innovation involved in this game. What they did is they created games like Throw Octopus and whatnot, and they kind of gave it the nice uh, addition of making a dexterity game with the added benefit of my favorite part being whatever you get rid of is going to go to your opponent, which I really do enjoy. Now, that being said, though, it is a fun game. I do enjoy this game. It's going to see an appeal to certain younger audiences and, of course, to family gamers and maybe a modern gamer giving this to somebody of a younger age to get them into the hobby. Soccer Duel is a fun, exciting little game that involves dexterity and placement that is really easy to play for everyone. Yeah, I, I think this is a really solid game, and I think if you are the right audience for this, you're going to enjoy it. For me, it's fun, but I'm not going to be playing it all that often, and most likely I'll give it to somebody younger. 
Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review of the game Soccer Duel. If you're interested in picking this game up, there's a link down below in the description. Like I said, it would make for a great stocking stuff or present for a younger audience. You can also go ahead and check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. There's blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. The winners of our latest giveaways are now up. There's a live stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, where you can see us play games just like this one. And in fact, one night we probably will play this game just to show you what it's like because it's so quick. That's pretty much all I got for you this time, guys. And as always, I look forward to scoring all the goals on you next time.